It's 11.20 at night and I'm making coffee. The movie Jack and Jill is about Adam Sandler playing a twin brother version of himself and his respective twin sister version of himself and the twin brother Adam Sandler makes commercials for a living and the twin sister is really fucking annoying. One of the side plots of the movie is that Adam Sandler is trying to convince real life Oscar winner, critically acclaimed actor Al Pacino, Al Pacino! to be in his Dunkin Donuts commercial. He's brewing at D and D. And by trying to convince Al Pacino to be in his commercial, he also accidentally ends up introducing Al Pacino to Adam Sandler twin sister version. And Al Pacino becomes enamored with Adam Sandler twin sister version and falls in love with her. But the movie's bad. <laughs> but something that happens at the end of the movie is that Al Pacino agrees to make the commercial and there's this, like, it kind of acts as like an end credit scene, but I don't recall if it's at the end of the credits or if it's still like a part of the film, like if it's just the ending of the, of the film, of Jack and Jill, the film. <laughs> there's a two minute gag where a fake Dunkin' Donuts commercial is played in which Al Pacino raps and dances and kicks and twirls and spins and does the whole thing. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. I can't get enough of my Dunkin' Chi. What's my name? And in the rap, there are references to his real life Al Pacino movies. I only know this because of a YouTube comment, but that's besides the point that Al Pacino is rapping and dancing in a fake Dunkin' Donuts commercial as himself. Wow! Al Pacino! In a work of fiction, which is the comedy extravaganza holiday film Jack and Jill. In the commercial, he's promoting the the made-up drink, the Dunkachino. Dunkachino. So he <laughs> he comes in. The commercial starts, and he's like, "What's my name?" Dunkachino, which isn't even a real drink. He says something about it being chocolatey, Chocolate. and it doesn't. It, that doesn't exist. That's not a real drink. He there's a part where he. He comes in, he's wearing like a suit with the vest underneath, like it's like a three-piece suit, and he's like chocolatey <laughs> or like Dunkachino. He there's a there's a word and he opens his suit and in the lining of the suit it's like a bunch of donuts. Like the fabric is a donut pattern. But Dunkin' Donuts exists and this commercial exists as a fake commercial in a movie that is fiction but it also acts as a real commercial. And Adam Sandler, during the whole movie, is trying to convince Al Pacino to be in his commercial, which is fiction, but it's also real because Adam Sandler had to do that in real life. He had, he had to talk to Al Pacino, maybe not directly, but at some point, uh, Al's people were told that Adam Sandler wants you um, for this movie and in the movie you're gonna be in a fake Dunkin Donuts commercial and you're gonna say it's not Stop. Al no more it's, it's Dunk Dunk Cuccino don't mind if I do all of this is happening full screen and then the gag within the gag is pull away and Adam Sandler twin brother version is showing the rough cut, the unreleased commercial to Al Pacino, and Al Pacino says, burn, burn this. Real life Al Pacino portraying himself in Jack and Jill disapproves of this horrendous musical rap commercial promoting the Dunkachino, a very delicious 
Dunkin' Donuts chocolatey drink that I don't ever get to try. <laughs> a chocolatey drink that I don't ever get to try. Because it doesn't exist. It lives in limbo between the reality that is Dunkin' Donuts and Al Pacino and the falsehood that is Jack and Jill, Al Pacino and Dunkin' Donuts and the Dunkachino. <laughs> this kettle is taking forever. Why is no one talking about this part of the movie? The worst part is that it's kind of funny that Al Pacino is doing this. Near the end of the commercial, there's a guy who looks like Andy Samberg. I don't know if it's Andy Samberg. I don't think it is, but he looks like him. And he comes on, he's dressed in a giant like mascot outfit. It's like a white coffee cup. But he's also, his face is painted white. And I'm like, are you trying to... Like, I know that's a giant coffee cup with a person inside. I... You're not trying to fool... Like, you can't fool me into thinking that that's a just a real life dancing coffee cup. And there's like Dunkin' Donuts employees dancing around. It's a whole musical number. I don't know how much of it I can put in the video before Adam Sandler um, copyright claims me. <laughs> Adam Sandler has the rights to the Dunkachino rap. Don't get Chino. Don't mind if I screw. 